Let's talk shoes. Today's video is sponsored by Native. Hello ladies and welcome to today's video. We are gonna talk about shoes, get those feet going. <laughs> you know, shoes in my estimation should accomplish something for your outfit. Yes, they absolutely need to be functional, but we're gonna talk about some functional shoes today, but they also should accomplish something for your outfit. And I'll go over those real briefly. I've mentioned it so many times before, but I'll go over those briefly. But I also want to uh, tell you about 10 pairs of shoes that I think every woman needs Needs to have in her closet. Now, some caveats here. I actually have five essential shoes. So these are five must-haves. And then I'm gonna share with you five, what I'm gonna call style boosters. So there's five that you just gotta have. I don't know how you can live without those five. <laughs> and then there are five other ones that I really think if you want to be able to put together great outfits, if you want the versatility, if you don't want to put on something and then go, I don't have any shoes to wear with this, then I also think you need these other five too. These may be like the second tier that you need to start working on if you already have the first five. I've said it so many times, but I just really believe it. And here's one, this is like one of the main principles. I think probably one of these days I need to do a video about all my main principles, but one of them is definitely that your footwear should accomplish something for your outfit. And here are the four things that your footwear can accomplish. Number one, your shoes can help you create that nice long leg. So just that nice long bottom portion of your body. So we're always trying to create that one third, two thirds, proportion, right? So if your shoe is either a flesh tone or it's in the same color as your pants, then it's going to create that nice uninterrupted line from your waist down to the floor. And that's really going to help you out, makes you look taller, makes you look trimmer, all those nice things. The second thing your shoes can accomplish for you is they can bookend an outfit. So if you wear the same color up top, either in a scarf, a top, jacket, whatever, and down at the bottom in your shoes, that's going to bookend that outfit, pull it together, make it look oh so cohesive. Another thing your shoes can do is they can elevate or they can bring your outfit down a notch. So they set the tone for your outfit. For instance, if you're wearing something really casual, like maybe jeans and just a casual t-shirt, but you wear some heels, that's obviously gonna elevate your outfit. But if you are wearing something like a suit, but you wear some sneakers with it, then it's gonna bring your outfit down a little bit. It's gonna make it a little bit more casual. So your shoes can really change the elevation, let's say, or the personality of your outfit. And the fourth thing your shoes can do, of course, is just add a little interest. Before I share with you the 10 shoes that I think you need in your closet, let me tell you a little bit about our sponsor. You know, I only work with brands that I really trust, I really love, I've used their products and I love them. So I've been using Native's deodorant in the past, but recently I received several of Native's body washes and I have been using the grapefruit and bergamot scent, which of course is just so nice and citrusy, which I really prefer. In fact, when I'm looking for a body wash, citrus is the first ingredient as far as scent that I always look for. Just think it smells so nice and fresh. And I love the way that this uh, body wash lathers up for me in the shower. I'm showing you here in the bathtub because you can of course also use it in the bathtub to draw you a nice bubbly bubble bath. <laughs> in fact, it really froths up nicely, but without any sulfated surfactants. In fact, Native only uses clean, effective and simple ingredients, things that you can easily understand. They are phthalate and dye free. They're vegan and cruelty free. They're made with plant-based cleansers and they're full of citric acid for pH balance to keep your skin ultra happy. Native has a wide range of scents. In fact, there's new scents being released all the time. In fact, I also got sweet peach and nectar and also the cherry vanilla and macaron. I've put one of these in my guest bathroom and I'm saving the other one for later in the summer. In fact, I think I'll use that sweet peach and nectar later this summer because, you know, I am a Georgia gal and I love my peaches, especially in the summertime. Native also recently introduced their candy shop collection. I have one of their candy shop deodorants. It is the sweet cinnamon hearts. So these of course are scented like candies. I mean, who? Who doesn't want that? <laughs> so that's a lot of fun. I suggest you check out Native for all of their bath wash, lotions, deodorants, all of those products. And in fact, right now, if you'll use my code KHARMS2, spelled out K-A-Y-H-A-R-M-S-2, just like you see here, 
it, we're using my link that's down below in the description box. You'll get 20% off and it's site wide, but it's only for a limited time. So don't hesitate to use it now. All right, let's move on to those 10 shoes. The first, the five shoes that you absolutely have must have. These are the five must haves. Number one, I think you need a great nude flat. And listen, anytime I say nude, I mean your color of nude. <laughs> so if you are white as a lily like I am, then you're gonna need some light toned, you know, that beigey color shoe. Or if you have darker skin, then of course you're gonna want darker shoes, black or a rich mahogany or a brown or a dark tan. So you do you when I say nude, okay? But you do need a great pair of nude flats. Now I'm showing you my nude flats from Ally. I love these because number one, they are so comfortable so they are very functional shoes but they get the job done too because they are a nice color of nude for me now the ticket here of course is to find some nice nude flats that work for you and yes I'm talking about closed toed shoes here I really think we all need some good closed toed flats in our closet even for spring and summer if you want to shop these ally shoes and i think i may have some other ally shoes too in this bunch then use the code kflats for i think it is 10 percent off of your flats at ally number two shoe that i think we all need in our wardrobe is a nude heel so once again that same kind of a color or in the general vicinity of the color of your flesh tone so here i'm showing you my carl lagerfeld heels actually i do have several other pairs of pumps in a color close to my skin in fact i'll give you a second pair here these are some kitten heels from ally they are a patent leather in a really nice soft nude i like that too so i have a couple two or three different things in my closet to choose from but i think every woman needs a great pair of nude pumps now you're of course going to want to do what works for you it may be a kitten heel it may be a block heel it may be a nice stiletto heel whatever works for you but i really do think most of us are going to want a nice pump in a nude color in our closet now if you just don't wear pumps at all you can skip this one if you don't wear heels at all you can just skip this one and stick with that flat but you want to make sure you have a really nice elevated looking flat then Number three, because it is spring and summer, we're going to need some nude sandals. So the, once again, these nude sandals are going to give you that nice elongated look because it's a sandal. It's going to elevate your look a little bit. If you choose one that has kind of an elevated look to it, you could either be a heel. It could just be nice and strappy. Maybe it's a patent leather in that nude color for you, whatever. But you know, you want something that is fun, that's going to serve you well during the spring and summer. I'm showing here I, some I think that are by, I think Mark Fisher, I hope I got that right. I'll give you links. Hey, I'm gonna give you links to everything that I'm showing you in the video today down below in the description box but i'm also going to give you a, at least let's just go out i'll promise you right now at least five to six maybe seven or eight links to other shoes in each of these categories in a wide range of prices so i promise you that you will find something that works for your budget now i can't promise something necessarily for everybody's size <laughs> depending on where you fall in things but I can promise you I'm going to give you lots of shoe choices in full range of prices. All right, since we're talking essentials, must-haves here, number four is a classic fashion sneaker. Now, when I say a fashion sneaker, I don't mean your running shoe. I mean something that you can wear, perhaps even with skirts and dresses, if you, if you kind of like that casual vibe with your skirts and dresses, but definitely with shorts, with jeans, maybe with, you know, cropped things, you know, you, you want something nice and casual that you can get out, you can play in, you can go places and feel really, really comfortable plus fashion sneakers are just so on trend and yes just nice classic white leather is the way to go if you're only going to have one in your closet and I'm showing you here my Paul Greens. These are not even available. They haven't been for a year or two because I've been wearing these for about two years now because I love them. I invested in some really high quality sneakers that feel so comfortable on my feet. And I've been wearing them for a couple of years now, but I will give you some links to Paul Greens. They're so, they're most comfortable shoes ever. 
And I'll also give you, of course, links to other fashion sneakers like this. Now, do they have to be white leather? Eh, no, but for the spring and summer, that is my preference. And if you're gonna put something with some, maybe, I don't know, a swish on it or some kind of decoration that go as minimal as possible, here we're talking shoes that are really versatile. And number five, because once again, we're talking essentials. Yes, you do need some running shoes. <laughs> you need something that you can exercise in. Ladies, we all need to be active. We need to be getting out there, getting our steps in every day. And we don't wanna ruin our other shoes to do that. We wanna do that in some good walking shoes, running shoes, whatever. I am loving my on clouds. I think they are a nice investment. They're a nice price. They're not extremely high. They're not very low. They're just a nice price. And they are like walking on clouds, <laughs> especially the first time you put them on. They have lots of nice cushion in them, really sporty looking. I'm loving these. I'll give you links to others below. As we pause between the five must-haves and the five style boosters, I want to let you know that I'm showing all of these shoes, or most of these shoes, with Chic Socks. Recently, Chic Socks uh, reached out to me and sent me like this huge bundle of shocks, of socks, shocks, socks, to share with you. And so that's what I'm doing because these are amazingly really working for me. In fact, just recently I changed out all my clothes, my wardrobe, you know, from winter to spring, and I literally got rid of all of my other no-show socks. Just threw them away <laughs> or donated them because these are just replacing all of them. They are amazing. Chic Socks has socks that you can wear with your heels, with your pumps, with your flats, with your mules even. You're gonna see me wear them with sneakers, everything. So those are the five essentials, the five must-haves. We're moving on to the five style boosters. Now these are just gonna give you a little bit more versatility. They're going to give you some more opportunities to create those other things that I said you could do with shoes. Now all those in the first set, what they really did was they helped create that long look. The first three did. They helped create that uninterrupted leg, right? Because they were all nude shoes. But now we're moving into things where you can do some bookending, you can add some interest, you can really elevate a look. The first pair of style boosters is a good black pump. So I do think it's smart to have a black pump. I don't find myself wearing my black pumps a lot with dresses and skirts anymore because I kind of prefer those nude pumps, but I do like to wear them with my black pants. That said, if black is not your color, if you tend to wear navy pants, then get navy pumps. If you tend to wear a lot of gray, then you could either wear black or you could get you some gray pumps. Or maybe if you wear a lot of brown, you know, really true brown pants, then you might prefer brown pumps. So you do you. The point is to have a great neutral that you wear a lot of, especially in a pant in that color in a pump. It just is going to give you some more versatility in your wardrobe. These are my classic pumps from Ally. If you'll use the code KHEELS at Ally, then you do get, I think it's $40 off of your first pair of heels. These are extremely comfortable pumps and I really kind of think they're a nice height. They're not too high for me. They're very walkable and I really enjoy them. I also think it's smart for another style booster to have a pair of black flats in your wardrobe. So here I'm showing you my black ballet flats from Sarah Flint. I also work with them. I do have a code for them too. I'll give you that here on the screen. If you'll use that code, I think you get $50 off at Sarah Flint, which should tell you that yes, they are pretty pricey shoes. They are Italian made shoes. They're really, really comfortable once again. But here's the point. The point is that ballet flats are really on trend. Now, when I say black flats, that could also of course mean black loafers or just some black kind of pointy toe flats like my ally flats were. But really since ballet flats are so on trend, if you have some of those, pull those out, get them front and center of your closet. These are gonna be great for wearing with black pants, even in the spring and summer, and of course, really even year round. The third style booster is a natural colored sandal. So something besides that nude sandal, just another sandal in a nice natural tone that really is just gonna look nice and sporty. It's still feminine. So here I'm showing you some, they're from last year, they're naturalizers, but I've noticed they've come out with some very similar to these that I'm gonna link you to below because these are very comfortable shoes, but I think they just look so classic. Something that you could wear with multiple outfits and it's gonna work. It's just gonna look so summery and fresh. 
Number four, and I really almost put this in the top five, <laughs> but that would have made six. So the number four style booster is a metallic sandal. Now it would probably be nice to have a metallic flat, metallic heels if you want to, but I think the bare minimum is, especially right now for 2023, is a metallic sandal. First of all, metallics are on trend. If you watched last week's video about what's in and what's out for 2023, you know that metallics are in. And secondly though, I have never known a time when metallics were really out. It's just that they're really having a moment. Every year for the last five years, ever since I became a style blogger and everything, so that's actually, we're going on my sixth spring, I've always, always, always had a pair of metallic sandals. And in fact, I've always had metallic sandals from, I don't, can't remember my first pair, because they're just such a great way to add that interest to your spring and summer outfits. And yet, they also do not interrupt that leg line. So if you get some metallic sandals that show enough flesh, you know, that show enough of your foot, you're still gonna get that nice uninterrupted line there, but you're gonna have that metallic that just gives a little pizzazz to your outfit, really elevates things. And so I love having these. Now I've had some from Tory Burch in the past. These are from a brand that is new to me and it's M. Jimmy, I think. <laughs> I'm not really sure, it's an Italian brand, so I'm thinking it's pronounced M. Jimmy. And um, I love these shoes. They're just a nice little flat, very easy to walk in, really spiffy. And number 10, or the number five style booster, either way you wanna look at it, is a modern classic loafer or mule. Now I say modern classic because a loafer is a classic. <laughs> and so yes, classic, but modern because you do want your loafer, if at all possible, to have some modern touches to it. And right now what's modern is still seeing those lug soles. Now they don't have to be as huge. I think we're kind of moving away from the really big oversized lug soles, but you still want them to kind of have a big lug sole that really looks modern. We're still seeing patent leather that's also trending. So I think you could certainly go, I've got some patent leather ones. I don't think I'm showing them here. Uh, for my loafers, but for the mules that I'm showing you today, these are my mules from Talbot's and they're just so fun. They're really like, um, I think they call it a loafer mule or maybe they call it a mule loafer, I'm not really sure. And I think they may, may even come in black too. I'm not sure about that, but they are very comfortable and they do stay on your feet nicely. And once again, I'm wearing some chic socks with those. So those are the 10 shoes that I think every woman needs to have in her closet. Now, let me add that last caveat. If you're still watching, <laughs> And I hope you are, because somebody's gonna write me a comment to the contrary here. But let me just go on the record for saying that if you don't need these, if you're not someone who gets out and you don't go to church, you don't go places where you need pumps or heels, then okay, you don't need those. But I think this shoe wardrobe is gonna give you the ability to create a very well-rounded set of outfits. So whether you are doing casual things or you're getting out and you're going somewhere where you want to dress up a little bit, even like a funeral, you know, cause those just things just come along in our lives, you will have the shoes in your closet that you need. So let me know about what you think about these 10 essentials. Do you have these in your closet? Will you need to shop for some? If you do, don't forget I have links below to everything. Thanks for watching today's video and next week, stay tuned because I'll be showing you what to do with these shoes for you're gonna learn how to accessorize your outfits like a boss and you're gonna need these shoes to do that. Be sure to check that link out and use code KHARMS2 below to shop native for 20% off. Thanks so much for joining me today, ladies, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye now.